What's going on YouTube? Homestead Mike. So what we're doing today is we're actually going to go and catch another turtle. Uh, one of my buddies called me and said he, they had caught a turtle on a, uh, on a milk jug, or excuse me, like a juice bottle. But I'm going to do this, and this video is going to show actually how I process the, um, the turtle, how I dispatch the turtle, and then how we fry it up and eat it. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so not a, not a huge turtle by any means, but you can see that there's definitely bigger turtles in here. It's missing it part of its back uh, back left leg, and uh, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, but uh, I'm estimating that shell about 12 inches. We'll get an official measurement. What I like to do is, I like to push the uh, turtle's head back in. You can use a two by four. I just got this log that was uh, sitting right beside, but you're gonna go, once his head is flush in its shell, you're gonna give it a quick pop, which is gonna, um, knock the turtle out all right like that now the turtle's out now what I like to do is go ahead you can stretch out its mouth I usually grab them grab them by the head because he is not gonna bite when you're like that and you're gonna want to do it pretty quick So we ended up letting this uh, bleed out here for about 20 minutes or so. Um, just helps a little bit with the mess. But the first part is to remove the uh, to remove the feet. And you can see what I, what I was saying earlier. There obviously was a bigger snapping turtle in here at one point, or maybe when maybe when this one was little, but it actually had its foot actually bit off by something. So um, we are going to go and try to catch see if there's anything else in here. But so we'll start with the feet. Now these things are going to move a little bit. Even when I'm when I'm doing this, I can feel the turtle bringing in its foot. Um, completely normal. Um, that's just the nerves. It's going to want to bring it, and then you're just going to go ahead and twist the foot, pull it out, twist it. You're going to break the break the bones. Okay, give it a little twist. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you heard it, but went through. So then you can just take your knife right in between like butter. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to cut around right up to the shell on both sides, excuse me, all four sides. And uh, I am going to take the plate off there, as I said in my other videos, there's a really fine seam if you guys can see that, um, it runs right through there. You have a little sharp knife, that thing will go through there very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll start up here at this one. kind of the time consuming process you have to kind of cut the skin away the meat away from the skin
So all right, so back to it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the, uh, the leg meat, and then we're gonna go take the, the plate off. And I like to normally twist it. And that's how you're gonna to separate it. So there it is. Get off some of that fat. And normally when you see the yellow, that's all the fat pockets, which uh, you do want to get rid of it, but that's that's good. That's just showing that this was a healthy turtle. So what I do now is I like to um, to take off that chest, the, the chest plate. But it's just it's just with the tail and everything, it's kind of hard to work with. So what I was saying is earlier in the video, they got that really soft space right there where the shell comes together. So I usually go right in the middle of it and just give a little pop with my hand, and that should do it. You know, be careful, but. Um, you could see it. I mean, that knife just slid through that. Just the first, the first little cut's always the hardest. And I brought my uh, my field dressing kit because um, on some of the, the harder parts, again, I'm not going to go and ruin a ruin a good knife. So with this, you have it's just a little bit of that uh, the fat still holding on. You still want to be careful, making sure you don't uh, nick it, any of the insides. Which again, if it happens, it happens. We're gonna go and um, once this is done, we're gonna go let it sit. I usually let it sit for, um, you really could let it sit for up to a couple days in salt water in a uh, refrigerator, but um, there's not a huge taste difference. So I usually just go 30 minutes. And what that does, that kinda, kinda cleans it out um, and adds to the flavor. But you can see. Okay guys, so the turtle soaked for roughly an hour and a half, and I'm going to go and use the recipe that my grandpa used to show me. Um, very basic, i uh, got a cup of flour, got a couple of eggs, um, I'm using peanut oil. Now that, that, in my opinion, is the best oil to use, it gives it the best flavor. And then the seasoning, again, this is all choice, but I like to use the onion powder, some Creole seasoning, and then also uh, some of the garlic and pepper. This adds a nice flavor, kind of breaks down the gaminess of the turtle. I want to show you guys what I like to do here now once we get everything processed. So I'm going to have, uh, I have three pieces of, of the turtle meat here and what we're going to do, we're going to dredge it in the egg bath and then we're going to mix it into that, uh, into the seasoning. The pan that I used, I'm using the, the 12 inch cast iron pan and really any type of open flame, any type of heat source, um, the cast iron pan is the absolute best one to use. It retains the heat, it cooks everything evenly and um, for the added flavor, you just cannot beat a cast iron. So we'll go ahead and put these in and we, uh, we'll probably let them 
let them uh, in there for probably four minutes each side, maybe a little longer, but uh, we'll see how it, how, it, how it goes. Hey guys. So the best part about this whole video, when we were cutting it up earlier, we had six eggs that we were able to get out of the turtle. So what we did, which our big question was, do you egg bath an egg? The million dollar question. But the answer is yes, you do. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw these bad boys in, fry them up, and have little homestead caviar. All right, we're all done. So total cook time around 11 minutes, I think is what we uh, marked off. But as you can see, everything turned out great. All right, guys, we're all finished up. I'm here with Country Craig, uh, homeowner. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna try the uh, try you. the the turtle uh, fried turtle. See how it tastes. Hmm. Good stuff. Mm. Mike, let me tell you, this is this is. I've had turtle twice in my life, and this is this is the best turtle that I think I've ever had.